What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Nature's Jewels channel. This is Mr. Crawlings coming at you with a vivarium update actually and a couple other updates as well. Um, if my face looks a little shiny on the video that's because I'm being a good husband and sport about my wife sharing her beauty tips with honey masks apparently. But uh, that's besides the point. As any typical vivarium owner I could no longer wait for my plants to grow in and fill the space and I could not resist the urge to pick out new plants for this vivarium. So as you can see I picked out uh, quite a few new plants um, but I made sure that uh, I got a lot of crawling plants so hopefully they'll shoot up the back wall. Um, and the, one of the biggest things that I want to like tell everybody out there who's thinking about setting up a vivarium is do what you think is going to look best. But I want you to keep a few things in mind. There's foreground plants and there's background plants. The background plants are going to be much larger. Now if you do choose to use a background plant in the foreground, if you know it's going to be growing quickly in the substrate you choose and stuff like that, just make sure you stay on top of pruning and allow it to create a flow within your vivarium. In this setup, I got a couple of uh, creeping oak, large leaf, because that's going to create a lot more shaded area and it's going to allow my red eye croc skinks to feel more secure as well as adding some more of my white leaf plants to uh, encourage them to come out and be less shy. I got some more um, climbing plants here and here's the other problem that you'll find if you pick up plants from either your local uh, store or if you're just shopping around. I actually purchased these from my local grocery store but they were not labeled. So I don't exactly know what I'm getting into. And once again, this is a trial by error, seeing how well these plants do under these specific conditions. But tomorrow, I have an entirely new video coming out for you guys and I'm super excited. If those of you out there have heard of Fred Kick from Kicks Balls, then you know exactly what I'm getting. I'm going to be picking up a very special male for the three females that I picked up from Garrick de Meyer at Royal Constrictor Designs and I cannot wait to do an unboxing video for you guys coming up tomorrow. So like I said, stay tuned for that video. We're going to do an unboxing. I'm going to show you exactly what I got and why I am super excited. And I, once again, I hope you guys really like the vivarium. I'm excited with the new plants. I'm sure there's going to be a little bit of die off or they're going to struggle a little bit until their root systems start to grow, but that is just kind of the nature of the beast when the plants are going through this transitional phase of being in a pot and then being in a vivarium with a controlled environment. So thank you for tuning in to Nature's Jewels. This is Mr. Crawlings signing out and I'll see you tomorrow.